Hey, True Seekers, welcome back. Zach here. It's August 3rd, 2016. The big news story this morning is the ongoing feud between Donald Trump and Paul Ryan, the Speaker of the House. This has been a public feud since May 5th. What I want to talk about in this video is Satanism and its symbolism within the Republican Party. Before I get into that topic, I want to make two points clear. I am not advocating that people support the Democratic Party by talking about the satanic symbolism within the Republican Party. My message is clear. It's always been the same. I've said the same thing since I'm a teenager. Elections are rigged. This country's a joke. By participating in these systems, you're participating in lies. It's been very transparent to me since I was 17. Nothing since the time I was 17 has changed. I was 17 years old when Al Gore and George W. Bush was the election for president, the year 2000. The same year, the Republicans changed their party logo, which we'll get to in just a second. Before we get to that, the other point I want to make is Satanism. It's not just a topic for religious people. Satanism, in, his, in its essence, is self-worship. And self-worship, selfishness, this is something that is very prevalent in the United States of America, where the Republican Party, where the Democratic Party exists. We are a nation of mostly self-worshippers. Most people just focused on themselves, me, me, me. The Republican Party is the me, me, me party. Mostly how they appeal to voters is with tax cuts so people can keep more of their own money. And it's not that that's wrong. We the people are overtaxed and most of our tax dollars goes to completely wasteful things such as banker tyrants who create needless war, build weapons that never get used, that only make the world less safe, that end up leaking into the ground and contaminating groundwater. You know, we're spending our tax dollars on things that kill us. And so many people in the Republican Party, they cheer that on, you know, like it's so great. Military, killing, destruction. You know, what the Republican Party always targets when they talk about tax cuts is they always target the programs who are here to help the least fortunate among us. You know, they're always talking about the social programs, the programs that touch the poorest people in our society. And let me be clear, a lot of these programs, they breed a culture of dependence on government. So ultimately, they are bad. They are part of the system. But at the same time, there's a lot of things that our tax dollars are spent on that are bad. And by my estimation, spending money on weapons that are only here to kill people, which will never be used, that's a lot more wasteful than helping poor people survive. And you'll never hear Republicans say anything like that. It's always hoorah military, more weapons, more war. And then at the same time, they want to be the party of Jesus, right? They're the party of Jesus, but look at the way Christians are with their spirituality so often, especially in the Republican Party. Promoting their religion is the greatest, and all other ones is false, evil, wrong. You know, Ted Cruz is a shining example of this. He'll talk about how he loves Jesus and wants to carpet bomb the Muslims all in the same sentence. And he nearly became the Republican nominee, you know, coming just short of Donald Trump and the entire staged production that it was. So the Republican Party, very much a me, me, me party. The Democratic Party, a very gullible party, a party that doesn't realize that, you know, more taxes, more money for this corrupt government never helps anyone. But at least what I see in the Democrats is so often they want to help other people. It's about more than just them. For most Republicans, it's all about me, me, me. You know, what I think is the greatest. My religion's the greatest. You look at what most Christians believe, they just believe that all they need to do is believe in Jesus and do nothing else. That they're born sinners, they can be as gluttonous as they want, they can be as wasteful as they want, they can be as perverse as they want, as long as they believe in Jesus. Then they'll get into heaven, then they're such great people. And really, it's also painfully obvious to see how contrived these religious beliefs are, these political beliefs. It really just all comes back down to selfishness and just worrying about you and nothing else. And that's what the Republican Party largely represents. Again, I'm not saying vote Democrat. What I'm saying is don't vote. See things for what they are.
Most of the Democratic politicians, they're spineless cowards that speak out against the Republicans, but then when it comes time to vote, they govern just like him. You know, remember, when Obama became president, all the Democrats were running on ending the war, a message that started in 2006. For the first two years of the Democratic Party, they had the presidency, they had the House, they had the Senate, and they didn't do anything to stop the wars. In fact, they didn't do anything. And now you look at Democrats and they want to say, well, the reason they didn't get anything done is because the Republicans have been stalling everything in Congress, which is true for the last six years. But what about those two years where they had everything and they did nothing? <laughs> you know, everybody just wants to have this nice rosy picture in their head that lets their false belief system get them by, I guess. Anyhow, in 2000, getting back to the Republicans, Satanism, self-worship, in 2000, when George W. Bush was the Republican nominee for president and soon elected the president, the Republican Party changed their logo. Notice the elephant. That's the Republican logo now. And here to the right is the Democratic donkey, the other party logo. Notice how on the donkey, the stars point straight up, just like they do on the American flag. For the Republican Party, they did until 2000. Then in 2000, they tipped them on their side. And what's interesting about that is that symbol becomes the pentagram. And the pentagram is not exclusive to Satanism, but it is a Satanic symbol. And again, you look at what the Republicans stand for, what they advocate for, it's hard to say they represent anything other than Satan. I know so many Christians think, they're their party, but a lot of Christians need to think about what I just said about their belief system and what they're actually doing in this world. Here's an article from Mother Jones, which is considered more of a liberal publication. But honestly, out of all the news magazines that are out there, and Mother Jones is mostly a propaganda magazine, but in terms of out of all the news magazines that exist, Mother Jones is a lot better than most. I say that as a non-biased person who doesn't cling to any political affiliation. Here's their opening paragraph from 2000. This article was written. Something's wrong with the Republican logo. The stars are upside down. Five-sided stars that point upwards, like those on the Democratic donkey and the American flag, traditionally symbolize the forces of good. An overturned pentagram, however, represents the goat's head of Satan and the forces of evil. And there are three on the Republican elephant. So with regards to Satan... You need to learn about the language of gematria. Gematria is the practice of coding numbers into words. The English language is based entirely on gematria. I want you to notice that the word Satan has gematria 55. The leader of the Republican Party right now is Paul Davis Ryan. Paul Davis Ryan in gematria sums to 55. When he was 16 years old, his father dropped dead at age 55. And what I have shown countless times is how many people in the world of celebrity, from entertainment to politician, have lost someone close to them, a father, a mother, both, a brother, a cousin, around the time their political career started, or their collegiate career, or their young professional athletic career, or their musical career. You pay attention to the headlines, you'll see how many people drop dead around the time somebody makes it big as a celebrity or wins a sports championship. So again, 55 connects to Satan within the name Paul Davis Ryan. It has gematria of 55. His father dropped dead at age 55. We're going to talk about his beef with Donald Trump, which began publicly on May 5th or 5-5. We'll revisit that. So again, this morning, they've had up these headlines. They recently edited it to the GOP's Trump freakouts in regards to him not endorsing the Speaker of the House who's running for election again. Talk about the significance of the date this headline comes on. GOP freaks out is how CNN had it all morning for hours. GOP freaks out in Gematria, of course, sums to 55, just like Paul Davis Ryan, just like May 5th, the day this public beef began. With regards to it falling on today, it's August 3rd, 2016, 8-3, the word election equals 83. This is about the upcoming election. Leap year equals 83. The presidential elections are in leap years. And they're calling Donald Trump the Donald. The Donald equals 83. Donald alone is 50, just like America, the 50 states. 
with the recent update to the headline, the GOP's Trump freakout, this has Gematria of 95, 104, and 113. 10 fours like message received, 113 is the number that they love to code again and again in these contrived headlines. The word mainstream is 113. The word dishonest is 113. Green screen, which they use all the time in the media to dupe us, has 113 gematria. Perjury, 113. Scottish, 113, as in Scottish Rite Freemasonry. And Donald Trump, his ancestry, is in Scotland. Of course, Scottish Rite Freemasonry came to power in France, but it definitely has the Scottish roots. So here's the headline for May 5th. This is when it first became more public that Paul Ryan wasn't on board with Donald Trump as the nominee. Ryan, not ready to back Trump, and then all day they had him on speaking out why he wasn't totally convinced Donald Trump was the guy. What else stood out about this headline in addition to May 5th and the 55 connections to Paul Ryan is it was also a date with 46 numerology, and all year they've been coding these headlines in regards to Donald Trump with the number 46. You might remember the Trump tombstone story where a tombstone with Donald Trump's name was found on it in Central Park in New York on Easter Sunday. That was a date with 46 numerology, March 26, 2016. The word sacrifice in Gematria sums to 46 as well as 55. Donald Trump was born in the year 46 on that Trump tombstone. All it had was the number 46 for his year of birth. It left the date of death open. Also, this emphasis on not ready. It has Gematria of 102, and this is interesting for a lot of reasons. United States of America sums to 102. Key of David equals 102, which is about prophecy mentioned in the Bible next to the verse about Philadelphia, the nation's original capital. The September 11th attack was all centered around this number 102. Al-Qaeda equals 102. The attack lasted for 102 minutes. With regards to this political election, Hillary Clinton has birth numerology of 102, born October 26, 1947. Also, she began her campaign on the 102nd day of the year, the day the Civil War began, April 12th. At the beginning, when she first announced one of CNN's first stories was Hillary Clinton's 102-year-old caucuser. You know, people aren't supposed to know the significance of these numbers. But when you know these numbers, you see why these headlines are put before you. You see why we get these feature stories such as a 102-year-old caucuser for Hillary Clinton. So not ready, Gematria of 102. From May 5th to November 8th, 187 days. And if you're new here, I've been talking about 187 and Donald Trump for weeks. The Republican convention began on July 18th, a date written 18 slash 7. And from July 18th to Inauguration Day, January 20th, 2017, is 187 days. George Washington in Gematria sums to 187. The big way. George Washington, the first recognized president, a Freemason, a Scottish Rite Freemason, a 33rd degree Master Mason. What I think the coding of this George Washington is in regards to Donald Trump and the GOP convention is it means Hillary Clinton will be the first female president. I think that's what the riddle is. All these tributes to the first president hints at the first female president to come. I could be wrong about that, but I really do just think they're running Donald Trump as a stooge to make Hillary passable because nobody likes Hillary. Also... George Washington, the small way, sums to 88. I can just show you this on the calculator in case you're new here. George Washington, the big way, 187. The small way, 88. And the name Trump, the big way, is 88. And so is the name Elizabeth. I bring this up because Donald Trump, when he came out at the GOP convention on July 18th, 18 slash 7, he came out to the song Queen. And right now the queen is Elizabeth. And he came out to queen 88 days after Queen Elizabeth's birthday. At the Democratic National Convention, they had Elizabeth Banks mock Donald Trump's queen introduction. All part of the grand show mocking by the numbers.
So, you know, May 5th to Election Day, 187 days, I'm trying to explain to you that everything in the world of politics is staged by the numbers. You know, Paul Ryan replaced John Boehner, two Catholic men, after John Boehner was told to step down by the Catholic Pope, or not told down, told to, but hinted at that maybe that's what he should do. John Boehner said from his conversation with the Pope, he felt like he should step down. John Boehner was the speaker, the leader of the 114th Congress. Look at what John Boehner equals, leader of the 114th Congress. Election day for the 114th Congress on November 4th, 11 slash 4. And behind John Boehner was Orrin Hatch, and Orrin spells his name with double R's. Everything in this world of politics is by the numbers. We'll get to Paul Ryan's numbers and how they align. So Paul Ryan, you know, he started his public feud with Trump on 5-5, the Satan number for the satanic GOP. Lost his father at age 55. Let me show you everything that makes Paul Ryan so interesting. He was 44 years old when he became Speaker of House. This current presidential race is for the 44th person to be president. Barack Obama's number 44, but only the 43rd person because Grover Cleveland counted as 22 and 24. The count's been off ever since then. Let's see here. So many things interesting about Paul Ryan. Losing his father, Paul Ryan was 16 years old, a special number, when he found his 55-year-old father lying dead. And notice it was Paul Ryan who found his father dead. A lot of Masonic rising in the ranks requires ritual sacrifice. Freemasons to climb to certain degrees, to get to certain levels, have to murder other prominent people, including their own family members. Paul Ryan, likely born into one of these Mason Masonic families, you know, these families are connected. They're not just any ordinary family. Whatever you heard about Paul Ryan's ordinary blue-collar upbringing, just forget it. We get fake backstories to cover up what's really going on in these families. There's a reason the Paul Ryan family's chosen. There's a reason he was asked to sacrifice his father as a 16-year-old when his father was 55. But with regards to 16 in Gematria, very special number. Has Gematria of 33 and 42. Freemason, the small ways, 42. If you add the divisors of 42, it sums to 96. 16, the big way, is 96. 33, the number of Freemason obsession. Also, if you look up the satanic churches that exist in this nation and look at their phone numbers, look how many begin with 33 or have 33 coded into the sequence. I live up here in Seattle. Our satanic church, which is, and when I say our, I mean, you know, the one for our region, the closest one is in the capital, Olympia, and their phone number begins with 33, one of many. I know the satanic church down in Los Angeles begins with 323, Lucifer in Jewish Gematria is 323, Satan is 232. Anyhow, with regards to 16, having Gematria of 96, so does Satanism, so does Freemason, Freemasonry. A lot of people who climb to high enough degrees find out that Freemasonry is truly Satanism in disguise. Freemasons pride themselves on being the keepers of knowledge. Knowledge has Gematria of 96. Think about what Lucifer represents, the light. The light has a lot to do with knowledge. And just realize that all of these interpretations, these things that we understand, you know, they've been presented to us and taught to us by this Masonically owned world we live in. Sadly, that's the day and age we're growing up at. So when we learn that knowledge and light is affiliated with Lucifer, it's only because it's coming from these satanic tyrants who rule over us, you know? So many Christians who are so scared of all this information, they purposefully don't seek knowledge and just stick to belief because they've been, you know, conditioned to behave this way. This is why the information is delivered as it is. So anyway, Paul Ryan, born January 29th, 1970. Show you what's so interesting about this birthday. Think about 1 slash 29, America in Jewish gematria equals 129. It's also a date with 119 numerology, all seeing eye equals 119, star of David 119. It's a date with a life lesson number of 47, agent equals 47, mafia gematria 47, 
President Gematria 47, Paul Ryan might end up being the president someday. It would not surprise me in the least, you know. He might end up being the Republican nominee before this election even rolls around. I'm not sure Donald Trump's going to make it. Again, Satanism 96, Satan 55, his dad dead at age 55. Paul Ryan's wife is Jana Ryan, a name with 35 gematria, just like the word Catholic. There's been one Catholic president in the history of the nation, JFK. He was also the 44th term president, dead by the numbers in the middle of Dealey Plaza, named after a 33rd degree Freemason. The word kill equals 44. You look at all the presidential deaths in the history of this nation, a whole lot of 44. First president to die in office, William Henry Harrison died on 4-4, April 4th. Jana Ryan, the big way, Gematria of 98, the reflection of religion, 89. Paul Ryan's from Janesville, Wisconsin, Gematria of 71, Catholic, the big way, 71. 89, religion, 89. Wisconsin, that Gematria of 44, he became Speaker of House at age 44, possibly a tribute to where he came up in the 50 states, Wisconsin. Janesville, Wisconsin also has simple English gematria of 234. If you add 234 to its reflection, 432, it sums to 666, number of prophecy, number known as the Mark of the Beast. What the Catholic Church is, the CC, the 33, is controlled opposition within the Christian Church that was started by the Jewish Zionists of their time. A lot of connections between Judaism and the Catholic Church. The Jewish calendar is in the year 5,776. It will turn to 5777 this fall after Yom Kippur. The Jewish Church, the Jewish Zionists, the evil ones who run the banks, they are responsible for all these things we're talking about. The Catholic Church, Freemasonry, these are all their creations over time. In the Bible, in Revelation, it says the false Jews will rule in the end times. That's who these people are. All of this stuff is under the same umbrella. He went to Joseph A. Craig High School, Paul Ryan, 216. Remember where the GOP convention was this year in Cleveland, home of the 216 area code? 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. Interesting, there's been a whole lot of 117 coding on Donald Trump. I don't think that connects to his high school. It's probably part of something I don't understand yet. But Donald Trump and 117, that's been a number all year. Remember how they made a big national news story about him accidentally saying July 11th, the date that's written 11 slash 7 in parts of the world? Just one of many examples. Janesville's on the 42nd parallel, Freemason 42. Again, the sum of the divisors is 96, connected to 16, the age he was when his father was found dead by him. 89th Meridian, again, the religion number. All this stuff, it all comes back to, you know, the satanic religion, the self-worship religion, the religion practiced by the elites and given to us, you know, trickle-down Satanism, you could call it. That's what we really get. Trickle down Satanism through the TV, through the radio, all these people that would go before our eyes, all this programming, teaching materialism, self-worship. You don't see too many positive influences in the mainstream media, too many positive messages. Paul Davis, Ryan, Roman Catholicism. Roman Catholicism in Gematria 74, just like Masonic, like Jewish, another number of sacrifice, Jesus 74, Cross 74, Messiah 74, Gospel 74, out of the 50 states, only one sums to 74, Oregon, the 33rd state, the English translation of Jesus is Joshua, Joshua 74, Yeshua 74, Muhammad 74. The day Paul Ryan got the vote for Speaker of the House, October 28th, 2015, October, the only month with 33 gematria, religion 53, Catholic 35, one Catholic Speaker of House getting replaced by another, John Boehner by Paul Ryan. 
Show you one more interesting headline in case Paul Ryan does somehow become the presidential nominee for the Republican Party. It wouldn't surprise me at all in the way this entire show's been. You know, think about how, the, how weird the Republican thing has been this whole past year. At first, it was like a field of 20 goofballs. The only one who seemed even passable to me when they had that field of 20 was the guy from Ohio. What's his name? John Kashich. However he spells his last name, I remember it equals 33. Also one of those guys who keeps himself orange, but at least he spoke halfway decent. But the way you knew he was a fraud was he was another guy speaking out for Israel. Anybody who speaks on behalf of Israel in a favorable way is not on your side. They are someone who is allied with truly your enemy. You have to remember the Zionist Jew thinks everybody else is a goy, which means something lesser. And these are the people who run our media, who control our politicians, who treat Paul Ryan like a puppet on a string. It was these Zionists, I guarantee you, these banker tyrants who had him murder his father when he was 55 years old. This is how these people rule the world. But anyhow, Paul Ryan, on April 12th, the 102nd day of the year, the one-year anniversary of when Hillary announced her campaign. Remember, the prior headline had the 102 Gematria. Here it is on the 102nd day of the year. Paul Ryan, count me out. From this day, April 12th, until the election, this is about him not entering the presidential race. So from this day until him entering the presidential race is 211 days. 211 is the 47th prime number. Remember the significance of 47. He has a life lesson number of 47. President equals 47. Agent equals 47. Think about the Hitman video game, Agent 47. Mafia 47, 211, the 47th prime. And the reason this headline came out on that date, it's about him not running for president. You know, 211, the 47th prime, president 47. That date this year was also a date with 52 numerology, Pope equals 52. He became the Speaker of the House because of the Pope's visit. That's why John Boehner resigned. It was also in the time that the United States was 239 years old, 239, the 52nd prime. He was also, Paul Ryan, made Speaker of the House on October 29th, 2015, the day after the vote, a date with 54 numerology. He became the 54th Speaker of the House that day. A date with a life lesson number of 47 like his. Also a date with 74 numerology. Masonic, Roman Catholicism. Everything in this nation is done by the numbers. That's the point I'm trying to make. I know it's a lot of information. His headline that day, Count Me Out, has Gematria of 147, the Master Builder number. 22 is the Master Builder number. Master Builder in Gematria sums to 147. Important concepts in the language of numerology. It's about foundation. You know, this headline, it could have been the foundation of Paul Ryan's future presidency. A riddle. Even though he says, count me out, it might really mean count him in. So anyway, that's speculation. I don't know that we'll see that. It wouldn't surprise me either way. But what I do know that is going on is our news is being contrived by the numbers, our elections are being rigged by the numbers. You know, people such as Paul Ryan, they don't stand for we the people. They're people who were chosen at a young age to further the New World Order agenda. That's what our government has always served. This is a New World Order nation. The New World Order is an Old World Order. It is a Masonic, Zionist, Jewish, Satanic World Order. And you don't need to be a religious person to understand this. You know, selfishness, it negative, negatively impacts us all, you know. The reason this world's so sick is because so many people are so selfish. If more people were living to help others, it'd be a completely different world. And just also, look at the, just the images they keep putting up of Donald Trump's face. This is all part of a mocking of America. The people who run our elections, they're not Americans. They're Zionist banker tyrants over off in Europe and Israel. Even a divide already between Mike Pence and Donald Trump. Think about what their sticker says. Trump 
pants. Sounds a lot like trumpets. If you read Revelation, the book of prophecy, the warnings are the trumpets. Trumpets. Mike Pence also has Gematria 45. This is a race to the 45th president, right? Holy Bible equals 45. Gutenberg equals 45. The first published Bibles were Gutenberg Bibles. Gutenberg Bible equals 66. Revelation, the 66th book of the Bible. Most Bibles, 66 books. By the numbers has been going on for a long time. It's always been used by the Masonic Jewish tyrants who have been controlling a lot of this world for a long time. And they've always done it by this numerical code. Until next time, truth seeker.